Yo, what is going on everyone? Guiding Light here back with another quick DMZ guide. And in this video, I will show you guys how to kill the sniper and the rhino within the same deployment. So if you guys do not know where these bosses are located, I will show you guys in this video. So to get started, what you will need to do is make your way into the complex. Now it does not matter which entrance you take to the complex. However, you will need the server admin key in order to access the boss location. So if you already have one of these keys, be sure to put one on before spawning into the lobby. Now what you will want to do is simply go into the complex. Now I chose to go in through the Oasis entrance, however it does not matter which entrance you go through. Once you guys are inside of the complex, you will need to make your way into the chemical room, which at this point you guys should know how to get to if you've completed any of the other challenges. So make your way into the complex, then you will be able to get inside of the chemical plant. Once you are inside of the chemical plant, this is where you will be able to find the factory admin key. So you will need this key in order to get to these two bosses, and I'll show you guys where there's a chance of it spawning. So once you guys get into this chemical room, you will want to run through into the middle of the room until you see this small building which is actually located inside of the room. Now from there, what you'll want to do is look inside of these pipes on either side. Now these pipes is where the keys have a chance to spawn, but keep in mind guys, there's only two keys per lobby. So if somebody else picks up those keys before you, you will not be able to get it done. On top of that, the keys only have one use. So once you've used it, it will get destroyed. But luckily enough, I was able to pick up both keys in the last lobby, and so I had one left over. Now, once you guys are ready, you will wanna make your way to the north side of the chemical room, as far north as you can go. And this will bring you guys to the factory room. Now, if you guys do not know your way around the map, this is a small map that you can find within the chemical room. Simply before you get into the chemical room, look around on the tables and on the walls and you should see a diagram of the entire complex inside which will help quite a bit when trying to get around and find the items that are required. So here's a quick look at the map. And just for a reference point guys, we are going to the far north side. This is where we're gonna be able to go into the factory wing. Now once you guys get inside the factory wing, you will be able to enter the boss location as well. So get into the complex, go to the chemical room, get the factory admin key, then make your way to the north end where you can then open up the factory admin doors. Now, as soon as you open up these factory admin doors, you will be presented with a sentry gun. So you will need to take this out along your way. Now, once you guys have taken out the sentry gun, you can move forward and take your night vision goggles off once you've gotten inside here to make things a little bit clearer. So from here, you will want to loot as many items as you can. If you're low on plates or anything, you will want to loot up and you can continue on into the next room. So as you guys can see now, we have made our way into the factory admin room. And from here, I will show you guys how you can find the rhino and the sniper. Now, this room might look familiar, and that's because it is from raid episode two. So what you will need to do is make your way to the northwest side of this room, just like you would in episode two of the raid, and you will push your way through these next few sections. So as you guys can see, just like in raid episode two, you will push your way through these sections. There will be a ton of bots along the way. However, once you guys have gotten through this room, you will find the two bosses you're looking for. Now, this boss fight will take some planning as their boss has a ton of health. I highly suggest bringing in a broadside as that weapon was the one that managed to do the majority of the damage to him. So an LMG and a shotgun is definitely one of the best loadouts you can bring for this boss fight because there are just he just takes so much damage on top of the fact that there's a lot of ads as well. So very quickly, I will show you guys how to make your way to the boss room. Simply climb over the ladder through the tunnels, just like you would in the raid. And then once you guys get over the wall, you should see that you have entered the area which the sniper and the rhino will spawn in. So you and your team will need to push your way through this room. There will be a ton of level three ads in here as well. So just be careful making your way through, take out as all of the enemies. Otherwise they will come up from behind you when trying to kill the boss. As you can see there, there's the rhino and the sniper spawn. As you can see, it did pop up showing you that the bosses are in the area. Now this is going to be the exact same method every single time you come in here. These bosses will always be in this location and this method will always be the same. So simply push your way through into the next room. There will be another set of a ton of bots and they will just continue to spawn until you push your way through. So make sure to take out all of the enemies along your way. Now I will very quickly take out all of these enemies. I don't wanna cut the video and have you guys get lost as this area is extremely hard to navigate when there's no mini map. So if you have played Raid Episode 2, you will be at a little bit of an advantage because you will already know what the map looks like. But as you guys can see, these elevators on the sides is where the ads will continue to spawn. You wanna make sure that you kill all of the ads, otherwise they will come up from behind you. Now, once you guys have made your way through this room, you will be presented with these two blue doors. 
Now, at this point, you want to armor up and get ready for the fight. Armor up, ammo up, whatever you need, because this next room is where you will find the two different bosses. Now, the Rhino boss is called a Rhino for a reason, and that, that is because he is a giant tank. So when you guys are ready, you want to make sure all three of your teammates are ready to go when going to kill this boss. Otherwise, it could become more and more hard to complete as you the ads begin to stack up, and he will be popping smoke bombs as well. So once you guys get past these two doors, you will be in the next room. This is where you will find the Rhino and the Sniper. Now, in order to kill the Sniper, you want to kill the Rhino first, and I'll show you guys why in just a second. So when you guys enter this room, you'll see these giant yellow tanks, and the Rhino will always be in the exact same spot. He'll be right here. This is where he always spawns. He will also have this green laser on him as well and a ride shield on his back. Now, this is where things get a little difficult. You want to be lure the boss back towards the front doors. This is the reason for that is because there's going to be all these other ads up top and in all these different areas, and you don't want to necessarily be taking damage from them at the same time. Now, we went in with the broadside and LMG and were able to actually do quite a bit of damage. I took him down way faster than we were expecting. The first time I tried to do this boss, it, he took so much health that it actually was almost impossible to take him down. But on our second run, we were able to get him. Now, keep in mind, once you start the fight against the Rhino, it will trigger a few ads to spawn in and actually begin fighting you as well. So you want to try to take out all of the ads first. And then when you have the chance, that's when you'll begin to do damage to the Rhino again. So even if you take out all of the enemies behind you, there is a chance that a few of them will still get by. But once you have cracked his shield, you and your teammates want to really pile on him and do as much damage as possible. Now, once the Rhino is defeated, you should get progress for that challenge. And not only will it give you progress for the challenge, but it will make killing the sniper much, much easier. So the sniper is located upstairs. The only way to actually get upstairs, though, is by killing the Rhino first. Because if you've noticed, when you walk in this room through the blue doors, once you get into this room, you'll notice that there's a locked door on the right side. And the reason that it's locked is because it actually makes it so you can go upstairs and kill the sniper. So the only way to unlock this door that you're seeing us go through now is to kill the rhino first. That will unlock the doors. Now, once you guys get upstairs, there's literally going to be about 40 to 50 traps in here. And you need to be extremely careful because any one of these can easily take down all three of your teammates if you're not careful. So try to destroy all the traps if you can. And I will show you guys the location of all of the traps as well. So slowly make your way through here and keep in mind that there is a chance that real players may also come up from behind you as well. As you will see in just a second, we actually had a team rush us. But I don't want to skip any parts of the video so that I can show you guys where all of the traps are and exactly how the sniper works. So as you do damage to the sniper and you manage to clear out the rooms, he will fall back further and further until he finally is in the last room. So as you can see here, I started lasering down the sniper. He has just about as much health as the rhino does. and you will want to have somebody watching your back as well because the ads will be able to come up from behind you when you're trying to do this. So I, with the person with the LMG, you want to let him do damage to the sniper while the other two watch your back. Now, as you guys can see in this hallway, there's also a few laser traps. So you'll see the green lasers and you'll also see the C4s on the walls. Keep in mind that the DDoS can deactivate these traps for just a few seconds and allow you guys time to slip through and disarm them or you can simply go prone and dodge the lasers in order to disarm them that way. But as you can see guys, the sniper's gonna have a ton of health, but once you get him down to a certain point, he will fall back. So after I damaged him that amount, he actually fell back further into the room and this is your cue to go and push into the next room. Now, when you go to push into the next room, you wanna be very careful. As you can see here, I'm going prone so that I can slip underneath these lasers and disarm the traps. So you're gonna find two or three traps just in this hallway alone, and you can disarm them if you are careful enough. So you just want to take it one step at a time, take out all of the ads, take out as many traps as you can. And now, once the sniper gets into his second position, so once he falls back a little bit, he will be located behind a table inside of this room. So very slowly, you can make your way through, take out all of the enemies, and watch out for traps as well, as there will be a ton of traps in this room as well. Now, once you guys are ready, I will show you guys how to get part past the next part. Now, this is when a team ended up rushing behind us. So very quickly, I will skip past that fight so you, to not waste time. And I'll show you guys exactly how to finish up the sniper boss fight. So luckily enough, we were able to wipe out the team that came up behind us. And it was a very, very close fight. But luckily, we were able to take them down. 
Now at this point, what you'll want to do is continue through this base and I will show you guys how the sniper reacts as well as where a few more of these trap locations are. So once you guys get through this room, you can take this pathway to get through. I didn't bother deactivating every single trap because they just simply weren't in the way. But once you get into this hallway, you'll notice there's another trap here that you can prone underneath. Now in order to deactivate this trap, it's a little tricky because I didn't see it at first, but you can actually disarm it behind these boxes. So in between the first trap and the second trap, you should see a C4, which you can actually disarm. And then you'll also find a third trap there. So very quickly, this is how you're going to disable this trap. Right behind these crates here, you'll find the disable button. Now for the next trap, I could not for the life of me find out how to disable it at first. So we ended up DDoSing it. But keep in mind, guys, in, this is going to be the final room for this boss fight. But once you guys get in here, there's going to be a lot of three-plate ads. So you will want to very carefully take out the ads one by one before going after the sniper once again. Now, I didn't want to trigger this trap or risk trying to jump over it. So we ended up DDoSing the trap. Now, the DDoS only works for a limited time. It's not going to actually completely destroy the trap, but it will give you guys enough time to get through. Now, again, the sniper will be head glitched behind a table in the back of the room. But if you have an LMG or something, you will be able to spray him down with ease because at this point, he'll be pretty weak on health. Now, after taking out the boss, I was able to find the diffuse box. So right there, you'll be able to defuse that trap. And that's actually it for this one, guys. That is how you will destroy the Rhino and the Sniper all in the same lobby. Now, keep in mind, guys, once you kill the Sniper, he will actually drop a key. That key location is located in this last room, and it will present you with a special weapons case, which you can only get out of the complex. So be sure to grab that as well, and hopefully this video helps you guys out. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.